Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you're watching from. This is the podcast, General Stream. On General Stream, we highlight major issues that affect us in our community, our country, and the world at large, and how we can come together as a team to come up with recommendations and solutions to be able to solve those problems. So for today's podcast, we'll be discussing our environment and how we can keep our environment clean. So I'm like, when people are going to the discussion, that will talk about how we can keep our environment clean. Please, 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 before you even start watching for us to dive into this discussion, you have to like, share, and comment on this video. So let us go into the discussion. Go to my YouTube channel, like and follow CTV Africa or Pocket Multimedia Agency. Follow their page on my YouTube channel. I'll, it will be right down here. You can just click on it and you can follow. Follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram for us to have more tech tech, tech discussion. Thank you. So like I said today, we'll be talking about our environment, how we can maintain and keep a healthy environment. So my Liberian people, when we talk about environment, what do we mean environment? Our environment is our community, the place we stay, the place we go to work, the place we go to buy our daily food that we eat. All of those places, are our environment. So how do we maintain those places that we live and we go buy our food and go to work? How do we keep it clean? There are different, different ways we can keep it clean. And if we keep it dirty, what is the effect on our human body? So that's more the thing that we'll be talking about today. Okay? So the first thing I want us to understand is that if you keep a dirty community, you are exposed so respiratory illness, you are you are also exposed to cancer, you are exposed to any form of diarrhea that will come. How do we keep our place clean? The first thing you you are a mother, you stay in an environment where you have a baby. The baby uses pimples. You should be very smart enough to know that if that pimples is not disposed properly or you not put that pimples away you not turn that pimples away good the dog in the community will go and eat that pimples and they will come back put their mouth in your dishes your pot or play with your kids and your kid will be exposed to diarrhea you make the garbage from the food you cook the diet you clean from your house there are people that go around to collect the garbage it better that you give it to those people to carry to dispose it to the rightful place. But if you give it to quote unquote this our disadvantaged youth, our children are in the community that sometimes we can call Zogo, which is not the right name. You give it to them. They will carry that direct in your community and put it behind somebody else's own window. Who you think will come to take that day from there? Yes, in and out, that day will be there. Nobody will come take it from there for you. Mm -hmm. Nobody will come take it from there for you. Your environment now will start getting dirty, small, small. The dirt increasing, it increasing. The baby people or the book people, there's something they call community or environment pollutant. That thing, if you pollute your community, you can pollute your community in so many ways. You're not disposing your garbage correctly. You're not chunking your dirt cool. You, the water in your community, you're chunking dirt in that water. In fact, the feces, the children when they defecate, or the children people, you not know how to put it. Or how to take care of it, you not get come, you not get tolly. These are some of the ways you can pollute your community. And if you continue to pollute your community, guess what? You will be exposed to wound, be sickness, they call respiratory disease. And there are be sickness called heart disease. And another hell of a one are no cure for they call cancer. So if you not take care of your community. Some of the respiratory disease that you can get, TB, you can get TB, your throat here, you can, your whole throat here, you're not able to swallow food correctly, you can get infection from there. Heart disease, you sit on your heart, before you know it, the whole thing finished, the story finished, the heart gave up. So these are some of the things you will be exposed to. You know cancer now, go for pay, go for pay, if you're not taking care of yourself, some form of cancer can come from that. When you get it, you know cancer, there is no cure for it. So, some of the ways you also pollute your environment, you get in the car, you go in red light, you go in free pot, you eventually eat a biscuit. I know we will say we get PCC, we get people to clean our street, right? But you put that water plastic in the street. Who 
do you expect to come and remove that plastic for you? No driver will complain if you put that dye in a car or in a keke. If that a motorbike, you know what I can do when I'm going to school? I put it in my backpack, pack it. I put it dye there. I bring it to my house. I dispose it the right way. So my Liberian people are begging us. If we want to live healthy, we want to live long. We are even selling in a market. If you even take a walk to real life market, you will know that your family are exposed to so many diseases if you are a health, health practitioner. You look at the garbage right there. You sell in barrack garbage. People take smoke, they take fire, they put it in a garbage. You inhale in the sin of that day. They take that down and the people put fire inside. Then you sit in there, they smoke going in your nose. You will not feed it this year. You will not feed it next year. You will not feed it the years to come. But a few years, you can break down. Then we start looking for witchcraft. Hey, my people. If we not keep our surroundings clean, we're not doing it to the government. We're not doing it to our pastor. We're doing it to our um, 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 say. Because a healthy community, a healthy environment, help to prolong your lifespan. Let me put it a simple way. If you live clean, you keep your surrounding clean. It can help you to live long. We can say we, we the Latin people, we don't have, research has proven that Africans don't have long lifespan. It's not like the white or the, the, the Chinese or other people are made different than or no. But the way we take care of our surroundings, the way we take care of our body, contribute a lot to us staying healthy and avoiding all of those sicknesses that can destroy or edit, that can kill us soon. So this program called Gender Stream, not only environment, but we can talk about, we can talk about so many things for today. I see the need that we need to start focusing when you are a child going to school. Tell your child, say, when you eat biscuit, you eat your quick or you eat whatever they die. Put it in a, in a dustbin. Put it in a dead basket. Put it in a where the dead basket. If you yourself traveling, you're going somewhere, if you made that, don't chunk it through the window on the road. Put it in a car. If you sell it in the market, you give your day, and people even want to take the day you sell inside here, go and call PCC. And PCC officers are all over. Just start, make the complaint, they will come and take the day. Do not allow people to bring death by you. It's more risky than even you sitting by that day. So I'm here to caution us. A clean city or clean environment help to extend or expand our lifespan. Help us to live long. So let us start knowing that we don't need to put death on the street. We need to keep our country clean. We need to keep our environment clean. We need to make sure that we're not polluting the forest. We're not polluting the water in order for us to stay safe. So the few days we all see something good happening in our country, right? It's been happening before, but we've not been paying attention to it. We see how here the big junction looking clean. So the people finish cleaning that place now. Somebody won't go eat biscuit and turn it dead there. Now what we can do? Somebody won't drink water and put the dye on the street. Are begging us. The way here at Junction clean, I had a whole city supposed to be what? Clean. So let us make effort to maintain the stainless that is set at here at Junction in, that that stainless will pass to all other environments. I can praise the outside counties when I go, when I, when I travel. Because these people, you see natural inhabitants, they, they breeze there, there is no, you can't even see there is it. So let us maintain our country, let us maintain our environment in order to have a good and clean and healthy children. And one of the people that can get affected fast when they're dating a pregnant woman. When diarrhea catch you as a pregnant woman, malaria, all of these big, big sicknesses, malaria come from death. You're not brushing around your home. They will live around it and enter the horse in the neck. You not you chunk it there all around your home. You live in your, the dirty water surrounding you. These are places mosquitoes live. So all of these things, if we try to work on it, we can have a better and clean Liberia. My name is Grace Williams Joshua, and this is the podcast Gender Screen. So I'll be back with another edition. Don't you go away.